Hi everyone! In this video, let's learn how to solve a primary 4 fraction word problem that some of our P4 kids asked on practical over the weekends. Are you ready? Now here's the fraction problem. Let's read this together and try to draw a bar model to help us see this better. Okay? Mario gathered a few mushrooms. So we are going to start by drawing a long rectangular bar. Do you know what we are going to use this bar for? This bar is going to represent all the mushrooms that Mario gathered. Okay? Now reading on, we are given that 3 8 of the mushrooms were yellow and the rest were red. So I'm guessing that the mushrooms might be poisonous. So let's hope that Mario isn't planning to make mushroom soup. Now back to the question. Do you see this fraction 3 8? Now let's think about what 3 8 means. Okay? When we read the fraction 3 8, it means that when we divide all the mushrooms that Mario gathered into 8 equal parts, we can actually use 3 of these parts to represent the yellow mushrooms that Mario had. So far so good. And then what about the rest of the parts? Well, we are given that the rest were red, right? And this means that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 parts to represent the red mushrooms. Falling so far? Now let's read on to see what else we know. We are given that there were 34 fewer yellow mushrooms than red mushrooms. Alright, so let's compare the number of parts that we have for the yellow and red mushrooms, okay? How many parts do we have for the yellow mushrooms? We have 1, 2, 3, 3 parts, correct? And what about the red mushrooms? How many of those parts do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 parts, right? So what's the difference between the number of parts between the yellow and red mushrooms? When we subtract the 3 parts that represent the yellow mushrooms from the 5 parts that represent the red mushrooms, 5 minus 3 equals 2, 2. Do you get that? And now we know that these 2 parts represent the difference of 34 mushrooms. Great! Now time to read the question and see what we are supposed to solve. How many mushrooms did Mario gather all together? Do you know how many parts you are supposed to find? If you said these 8 parts, you're right. Well done. How do you think we can find the total number of mushrooms? Well, there are actually two ways to do this, okay? One is the usual way where we are going to divide 34 mushrooms by 2 to find the value of 1 part and then multiply what we have by 8 to find the value of 8 parts. The other way, which is much faster, is to multiply 34 mushrooms by 4. Why? That's because if we were to look at the two numbers 2 and 8, can you see that 8 is 4 times of 2? And that means that the value of 8 parts must also be 4 times of 2 parts. Correct? Now when we work this out, 34 times 4 is going to give us 136 mushrooms. Do you get that? And that's the number of mushrooms that Mario gathered all together. Problem solved. Now that you have learned how to solve a fraction word problem with model drawing, try the rest of the fraction questions on practical and see how many you can get correct. Okay? Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.